Hello, hello, hello. I'm back with another video. It's your girl, Jean. I'm so glad to have you back watching another one of my videos. And today I want to share with you, I did some ground hamburger patties with onion gravy and rice and the greens that I told y'all I had went to the store to get that I fixed. So we're going to taste them. We're going to see how they are. They are mixed greens. They are um, mustard, kale, and turnip greens mixed together. That's the first time I mix three. I always mix mustard and turnip. But this time I add a little kale because I like kale. So let's get a prayer. Amen. 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 Yes. I am glad to be back and share with you. I had a free day today, so I cooked me something. And I wanted, what can I eat with my greens? And I said, well, I could do something with hamburger. And I thought about making some spaghetti. But I said, no, I don't want spaghetti. So I said, I'll just do some hamburger patties. And I tried this um, beef broth that I seen in the store. It's a powdered, um, like a powdered beef base broth. And so let's see. It's good. It's strong. It has like a strong beef taste. Yeah, I like that. It's worth the money because it costs for the jar. It costs a pretty penny, so. But it was quite, it's quite a bit. It wasn't a small jar. It was a nice ass jar. So I like it. My hamburger, nice and tender. Look at that. Mm. You see the steam coming from it? <laughs> I just took it off the fire. Mm -hmm. Now, let me try my greens. See how the three taste together. It's good. I like greens anyway because I could eat all three of them by yourself, you know. And I fix these without anything in it. No, no, you know, no side meat, no smoked turkey necks. Just nice fresh greens. I season with salt and pepper, and I put a little cooking oil in it, and they are good. Hmm. And so I season them well too. I'm trying to cut back on my salt because of my blood pressure. So sometimes I will fix something and I'll be like, oh man, I should have put more salt, but these are perfect. They are perfect. Mm. I can sit and eat a bowl of greens and be just as contented.
What are you guys watching on television this evening? I am waiting to see MasterChef. I love Gordon Ramsay shows. I like Hell's Kitchen, MasterChef. I don't watch that one where he go in and redo the rest of us. I haven't watched that in a long time. I like Junior Master Chef. When I was younger, I would have loved to have been up there, but I don't have the energy now. <laughs> I fix something simple and I go sit down and eat. But I like to be entertained for someone that knows how to cook. And they cook a big spread. Mm, I love that. And I eat, a, I get a little something of everything that I like. My best friend want me to fix her a lunch. So she said the end of the month. So she's supposed to let me know, I guess, on when her day off is. And she already gave me her menu what she want. So she doesn't want a whole lot of stuff. And so I told her I'll tape it so I can put it on YouTube. And uh, so. But I don't usually do a whole lot of cooking for everybody else like I used to. Now, my two brothers and my son, my two brothers that are here in Virginia, two of my brothers, but let me put it that way, that's here in Virginia, on their birthday, they like for me to cook them certain things. Because it's something they don't normally cook, so it's you, well... One of them, he loved beef. He loved a beef roast. And my other brother, he liked lamb. He liked the leg of lamb. He liked the lamb chops. And my son, he usually want me to fix him a pan of my um, spinach goulash. So I usually just do that for their birthdays and and usually if somebody asks me to make them a cake, I do that. Mm -hmm. So when I'm cooking, I do a video and you can see me cook and see my different recipes, I put a spin on everything. Because even some of the recipes that I love to try, the ones that I see in books and magazines, I love to try them. And I fix it just like what the recipe say. I follow the recipe. And then if I like it, and I fix it again, I'll tweak it my own way and add my own little spin on it. <laughs> And um, so that's how I get some things. I, you know, I just get them from recipe books off of Facebook. And um, they turn out pretty good. And some of them, I, be, I tried one a couple of weeks ago. It was a soup. Mm -mm. I would definitely not make that again. <laughs> I don't even know how you can tweak that. <laughs> So I'm like, no. Mm -mm. So some of the things I like that. I remember I tried um, a recipe. This was like from one of um, Rachel Ray's show. And I went out and bought all the seasonings because it had a lot of seasonings. And it was seasonings that I never really used in my cooking. And I followed the recipe to the T. And it was so strong. I was like, and I could not figure out which one of the seasonings that it was because 
I had never used them before. I know I used about five or six different seasonings. It was a chicken dish. It was a chicken and rice dish. And I was like, Ugh. I didn't even want to give it to them. Like usually if it's something I fixed and I don't like it, I'll say, well, hey, I fixed this over here. You want to come and try it? But that stuff was so strong. I was like, I don't know if I did something wrong or if they wrote it wrong in the magazine. But I was like, I threw all, all that money, all that food in the trash. It was just like, oh, it was so overpowering. Because a lot of the seasonings um, that um, were new to me that I never used before, like when I started cooking lamb, lamb calls for rosemary. Rosemary to me is so strong. So anything that asks for rosemary, I usually put half of what it asks for because that is too strong for me. I'm not crazy about that taste. But then when I fit when I use it in a recipe and I fix it, everybody like it. So I um I guess I'm not killing the recipe by reducing the amount of rosemary. Now it, it was another seasoning. I just don't like that. I don't remember what it was because it was, you know, years ago when I used it. And I was like, no. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. But I still like trying different things, you know. And I'd be looking for um, some different things. Mm -mm. But yeah, I like cooking. And I just wish I had the energy like I used to so that I could um, do more, you know, do um, more cooking um, because um, I find my um, eating habits are not good as far as just making a sandwich or I just fix something so, you know, noodles. I love my pasta and it's simple to fix that. I ain't got to, you know, do a whole lot, but um, that's not good uh, habits. And I try to do my vegetables every day. I try to do the vegetables because I definitely need that. I am anemic. I have a calcium deficiency. And so I take a multivitamin. I take a, a rena, it's what they call renovite. Um, and so I try to eat the best way I can, you know. But I'm going to tell you now. If I don't like it, I'm sorry. I just don't. I just, I, it's like, I don't gag, gag, but I just can't swallow it. I hold it in my mouth because I'd be like, and then I want it to go down. It's like it won't go down. So I just, if I don't like it, I just, I won't eat it. So <laughs> I tell you, I hope it's something um, doesn't come up that I have to depend on, that I have to eat. And I really don't like it because I know I don't like yogurt. I tried yogurt. I tried all different flavors. I tried all different brands. And I don't like yogurt, but then um, a couple of months ago, I was reading an article and it was talking about Activia, the yoga Activia, and how it helps regulate your bowels. And um, I said, well, I need something like that, you know, to, um, to help me. And so I bought, it's a, like a four pack, and I got the strawberry kind, because I like, when I eat stuff like that, the best thing for me to get is strawberry. All the other stuff, they had blueberry, they had peas, they had all that. I said, nope, strawberry. That's it. And so the first day I ate one, and I was like, oh my gosh. People say these things, people eat these things like they ice cream, you know, a candy. I don't like, I can't do it. So I'm eating a little bit at a time. I'm eating a little bit at a time. And so I end up, I ate it all. It took me a while, but I finished it. So then the next day I ate another little cup. And I said, this time I'm going to just eat it, just eat it, just eat it. And I did. And I was like, oh, but I'm going to tell y'all, 
<laughs> After that, finished that four one the fourth day. I was like, I ain't bad no more. I could, it's just not good. It don't taste good. It don't taste good. And then I don't think it really helped me, made it any different. You know, when I went to the bathroom, I didn't see a difference. Maybe if I would have saw a difference, I would have said, okay, yeah, let me keep this up. I didn't see a difference. So I said, I'm not going to torture myself with yogurt. <laughs> I will not torture myself with yogurt. And um, so I don't want to do a laxative. I don't want to do anything like that. So um, somebody suggests to me, you know, maybe a softener, you know. So I said, I don't know, because I take enough medications. I don't need any extra medication. No, I do not. So I try to do my vegetables, and I'm going to finish my greens. When I get off of here, I'm going to finish them. So, you know, because I think that's them. Let me make sure I don't have any other vegetables today. No. So this is the only vegetable today. But um, I like salads. I love salads. I love making my salads. Matter of fact, I was watching the commercial of um, Chick-fil-A, their lemon salad. Now, I have because I love kale, but I never ate raw kale. Now, I might have mm, had an a outside salad somewhere, and they had raw kale in it. But as far as when I fix it, no. But... Um, I do like their other, they have another salad that I buy, I bought a couple of times and I really like that. Zaxby's has a nice salad too. So I don't know, um, I don't know, when I go out, I may try that lemon one. I may, I don't know. I may, or I'll just get me one of the other salads or something because I really don't do fast food, you know. And so when I do do it, I'd be like, I'm tell y'all what I do. I could be, I go somewhere and let's say I'm coming home and it's about one or two o'clock in the afternoon and I have not had breakfast or lunch and I am so hungry because I had an appointment and usually when I have my appointments, I just get up, shower, put my clothes on and get out of here. Never think about eating anything, don't really want anything. And I will be coming down the highway and I'll see this place, that place, that place, that place. And I'd be like, no, I don't want that. No, I don't want that. Well, do I think I want? No, I don't want that. And then I might say, well, you know what? If I bypass a certain place, I'm going to get some. And I'll bypass and look at that place and keep going. And then I find myself at home. And I come in and guess, I say, I ain't want nothing. I'll make me a sandwich. Or if I got something left over from dinner, I just warm it up. So that's how I am. You know, somebody like a, um, one of my friends would call me and say, oh, this was before the pandemic. Cause, mm, I don't go out too much since the pandemic. Um, and they'll call me and they'll say, hey, let's go do breakfast. Let's go do um, lunch. Or they'll say, I'm off such and such time. Let's go out and eat. You pick the place. You just tell me where you want to go. And I'll be like, they'll give me, it'll be three, four days later before we supposed to get together. And then they'll come back and they'll say, okay, so where we going? I said, I don't know. <laughs> I'm like, I don't. I said, I don't have a particular taste for anything. I said, wherever you want to go, because they know what I don't like to eat. So wherever they want to go, they said, girl, you a trip. <laughs> But I just, you know, sometime I will develop a taste for something. I'd be like, I got to have that. I got to have it. And it might be a couple of days, but trust me, I'm going to have that craving until I get it. And, you know, so, but other than that, usually it doesn't matter for me. You know, I said, wherever y'all want to go, let's go. I'll just order something on the menu that I like. And my favorite one, because most people don't mess this up, and that's chicken linguine, chicken alfredo. Um, when I go someplace, I'll be like, no, I don't want that. I don't want that. And then I'll see it. <laughs> chicken alfredo. 
especially with the linguine or fettuccine noodles. I get that. They said, that's all you ever get. That's all. I said, because they can't. I have not went anywhere where they serve me bad chicken Alfredo. So I know that's safe. I know that's good. So I'll order that in a heartbeat. <laughs> okay, Master Chef is getting ready to come on. So I'm out of here. Thank you for watching my video. And I pray that if you have not subscribed, that you'll go ahead and hit that subscribe. Hit that notification bell so you'll know when I put up a new video so you can come back and watch that. Press that thumbs up. Give me that like button. Press it and share it. This video with everyone you know said, come on, y'all. Let's watch. My girl is, is Jean. It's your girl, Jean. And help her go viral. Thank you for joining me. Goodbye.